Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 20 Power Rangers series. Cool. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is cool. For this list, we'll be looking at the most more phenomenal live action seasons of this long running show. If you aren't fully caught up with the series, this is your official spoiler warning. Which team had the best Power Rangers theme song? Morph into the comments and let us know. Number 20, Dino Fury. Stop us if you've heard this one before. A group of teenagers with attitude are granted dinosaur-inspired suits to combat an alien threat to Earth. Okay. Muscle. While the series treads familiar territory, the storyline gets points for how well it ties its dino motif into the series narrative. Dino Fury also offers a genuinely intimidating villain in Void Knight. Additionally, this team broke new ground by having the first openly LGBTQ ranger to be seen on television. I'll be fine. I've read all the materials. I'll reread them tonight, and in the morning, I'll read, read, read them. It was incredible to see that the series could still keep things fresh after nearly 30 seasons. And with time, it may rise through the ranks as one of the fanbase's favorite series. Dino Fury's great plot and bold risks proved that the franchise was far from extinct. Number 19, Operation Overdrive. It's a good sign for a Power Rangers series when the morphing sequences and kaiju-sized swords don't feel like the main draw. The Overdrive season shook up the classic formula by incorporating ancient artifacts, globe-trotting adventures, and literal androids. Did something happen to me? Um, yeah. This season also put inventive twists on the well-trodden villain of the week structure. By having the rangers search for five mystical jewels, their adventures felt bigger and more expansive. While not all of Overdrive's ideas were executed as well as the superhero landing, the season was still very memorable. We have to give particular props to the inspired reveal that Red Ranger Mac was an android. Between its surprises and mystical narrative, Overdrive was an adventure we were happy to go on. Number 18, Super Mega Force. As the franchise reached its milestone 20th year anniversary, the Mega Force team got a major upgrade that allowed them to attain the powers and suits of all the prior Rangers. You will gain access to Legendary Mode, where you can tap into the special powers of all the Rangers that preceded you. Admittedly, the individuality of the season was lost a little in the midst of this cool concept, but there's no denying that we fans still got some epic and nostalgia-fueled fan service throughout. The final battle in particular was a series highlight. While Super Mega Force wouldn't work as well without the foundation of the fantastic seasons that came before, it's still a grand celebration of Ranger history. Any series that lets us see legendary rangers like Tommy suit up again is worth giving a shot. Number 17, Super Samurai. The Super Samurai follow-up took established characters and storylines and added one heck of a twist. And new ranger outfits, of course. Color-coded target practice! Let's rumble! All the fun and flashy upgrades balanced the darker tone of the story as it neared its endgame. One of the real turning points of the season came when Red Ranger Jaden gave up his morpher to the heroic Lauren. While she was an instant standout, she came in a little late to really get the shine she deserved. You all need to follow Lauren now. She's the new Red Ranger and your leader. But the story never stopped being sharp and fun. Thanks to a surprising cast shakeup and heavy focus on plot, the final stretch of this series became worthy of the super moniker. Number 16, Samurai. 
this refreshing and relatively lighthearted season had a lot of fun combining rangers with a theme centered around Japanese warriors. Samurai Ranger, ready! Everything from the aesthetics to the weapons made it feel unique, and while there was certainly a main story, it wasn't afraid to take a few detours and focus on self-contained stories. Since the characters were less sure of themselves, it was compelling to see all of the teens on the team grow as they train to be worthy of their historic lineage. The season also has the distinction of being the first English series that was filmed in high definition. Truth is, y'all ain't so hot cause your swords ain't got no mojo! There's nothing we can do! What's this monster made of? Mostly red fur! I'll give you what fur! This allowed the engaging samurai series to have the added bonus of finally giving fans an HD morphing sequence. Number 15, Dino Charge. In exchange for relying on a prehistoric theme yet again, Dino Charge gave fans awesome suit designs, interesting lore, and a great ranger lineup. The new teen team was incredibly endearing and fresh. Unleash the power! Wow, we look great together! Whoa. While the season introduced down-to-earth characters like the driven pink ranger Shelby, it also had far-fetched characters like a 100,000-year-old caveman as a part of the crew. This duo joined their team in a plot that incorporated multiple time-displaced characters and explained the extinction of the dinosaurs. Between the strong writing and excellent cast chemistry, it was thrilling to watch this team fight evil. <laughs> My power will bamboozle you! Things will fly before you beat us! All of their personalities managed to shine brighter than their sleek and colorful suits. Number 14, Dino Supercharge. To the delight of many fans, Dino Supercharge managed to improve upon its predecessor. The same charming team returned and added some great new rangers to their dynamic. Yeah, let's finish this as a team. Combine together. Dinosaur Knight, ready to fight. T-Rex Supercharge. An expanded lineup was definitely needed to face memorable villains like the Duel, Heckle, and Snide. Fortunately, the new adversaries and allies don't get in the way of the impressive character development. Dad? Dad, Dad you're alive! <laughs> it's a testament to the writing that the series managed to balance 10 whole rangers with distinct personalities and motivations without it feeling too crowded and the story builds up to one of the most satisfying season conclusions yet. Who knew elements like dinosaurs, superheroes, and a caveman would work so well together? This is where your family lived? 100,000 years ago. Yes, this where we sleep. Number 13, Ninja Storm. After a ninja academy is attacked, three of its least promising students are a few of the last ones left standing against a growing threat. While their mentor being trapped in a guinea pig's body put them at a bit of a disadvantage, their cool elemental powers help balance the scales. These are your Power Ranger Wind Morphers. You're right. <laughs> yes, see, I knew it, dude, I was right. Power Rangers are real. The series was chock full of great comedy and seemed almost self-aware at points. But that doesn't mean it slacked on dramatic storytelling. Heavier arcs like the standout Thunder Ranger saga proved why Shane, Tori, and Dustin were seriously worthy of their morphers. But the real crowning achievements of this season might have been Lothor and his lackeys. Get to work! Uh, sir, we'd love to, but, but we're on a break. Union rules. You know how it goes. This entertaining group of villains stole the show every time they were on screen. Number 12, Wild Force. Although all Power Rangers seasons tackle real issues, Wild Force was notably built around an environmental message. Focusing so much on ecology and activism could have easily backfired by making the series seem too preachy. However, the season had enough exciting action and unique characters to keep it accessible. Fire! Fire 
It also helps that some of the most sublime ranger suits ever designed appear after an absolutely epic morphing sequence. Throughout the show, it's compelling to watch the heroes try to protect animals like swords who each have distinct personalities. And since Wild Force's season coincided with the 10th anniversary of the franchise, fans were treated to the fantastic Forever Red team up. This environmentally impactful series truly was a roaring good time. Number 11, Mystic Force. On paper, giving these colorful heroes cell phones to morph while also incorporating magic sounds like it might not mesh well. This is as good a time as ever to start believing in magic. I do believe in magic! But after over a decade of metal weapons, blasters, and zords, the inclusion of spells really helped spice up the combat. The focus on mystic elements was just as strong outside of the fight scenes. Mystic Force lets all the magical lore drive the story forward and add layers to a well thought out narrative. You are powerless now! My victory is already at hand! We will show the mass of what real courage is, even without magic. Without magic, Mystic Ones, you are never without magic. You just have to know where to find it. Thankfully, a well rounded cast and atmospheric locales kept us grounded amongst all the mystical hijinks and dense backstories. Putting Power Rangers and Sorcery together was truly a magical idea. Number 10, Zeo. From the moment the awesome opening theme played, it was clear Zeo was something special. After a group of rangers loses their original powers, they continue the fight as a brand new team. A new day is upon us, and the time has come for you to accept the powers of the Zeo Crystal. This bold start opened the door for new members like Tanya to join, and for veterans like Billy and Tommy to take on new roles. At the same time, the new and threatening machine empire made for a greater challenge than the heroes faced before. Then you and I shall claim our rightful thrones! With nothing to stand in our way, the Machine Empire will be unstoppable! Since this was the first time American audience saw the show make such drastic changes, there was a lot riding on Zeo. But a strong story and former Red Ranger Jason's iconic return as the Gold Ranger ensured the series had nothing to worry about. Jason, use the power from your Golden Staff to bring the jewels to life. Take care of the golden power. It is our hope that someday we will reclaim it. You can count on me, guys. Number 9, Lightspeed Rescue. After a couple of seasons focused on intergalactic threats, the series shifted gears by centering the action on Earth. It also stood apart by having a government agency hand select its team of recruits based on each member's unique skill sets. You built this whole aqua base? so that the four of us could fight off a bunch of angry demons? Well, that's putting it simply, but uh, yes. Seeing an alliance consisting of real-life heroes like firefighters and paramedics was both satisfying and gave a grounded feel to the team. Even with an ancient demon as the central villain, the season still felt down-to-earth enough to accommodate smaller and more personal storylines. Why, sir? Why did you stop us? Because he's my son. Lightspeed Rescue also took a major creative risk by adding a sixth ranger that wasn't in the Super Sentai show it was based on. Fortunately, he and all the other innovative elements of the season were embraced by fans. Number 8, Lost Galaxy. Since the previous six seasons had characters or stories to link them, Lost Galaxy ventured into uncharted waters by introducing an entirely new cast with no initial ties to previous stories. Let's do it! After five heroes get awesome sabers, they gain enough power to protect a space colony and the universe from evil. This season had a great ranger team, 
full of memorable personalities like Maya, a woman who escaped a calamity on her home planet. It also featured iconic characters like the fan favorite Magna Defender, and Lost Galaxy also raised the stakes by featuring the first ever on-screen demise of a ranger. I'm okay. I'll always be here. The series ushered in a new era for the franchise by daring to boldly go where no ranger show had gone before. Number 7. Jungle Fury With just one glance, it's clear this season went on a safari through ranger history and picked out the best elements to bake into one perfect slice of Jungle Karma Pizza. Get them while they're hot! The season's focus on animal spirits and kung fu made for some of the best fight choreography the series had ever displayed. While it's easy to get distracted by the stunning combat and uber cool master mode outfits, the season had plenty of story bite to back up its spark. We do have more power! <laughs> Incredible! Oh, no! Impossible! The tightly written narrative boasts fully realized characters, genuine emotional arcs, and a complex main villain. It also has one of the best ranger mentors of all time in RJ. There, I made it. Are you happy? Most of the time, but not quite yet. Incoming. This is ridiculous. He's one of the best parts of an incredibly strong series. Number six, SPD. When Space Patrol Delta's A-Team of Rangers falls, a couple of former thieves and less experienced ranger recruits are brought together to form a new B squad. Their disparate backgrounds and underdog feel make for a surprisingly engrossing group dynamic. This is unreal. I can be a good leader, tell him Z. It's the truth, Jack. Sorry. The team has spoken. You're relieved of command and ranger status. As they become stronger warriors, they grow to slowly appreciate one another's skills and viewpoints. This season also takes a sensitive and wise approach to hard-hitting issues like grief, morality, and loyalty. There's even a standout ranger v ranger clash where two teams fight over ideology instead of a simple conflict. The futuristic setting, characters, and themes all felt fully realized and fleshed out. Not bad for a so-called B-Squad of Rangers. Number 5. Mighty Morphin It takes a special kind of series to kickstart a franchise that's still alive and morphing nearly 30 years later. Zordon said these power morphers to give us power. Let's do it! Mastodon! Triceratops! Saber Tiger! Since the three seasons were marketed as one continuous story, we'll count all the adventures in one entry. Cheesy but charming, there's an undeniable magnetism about watching the iconic original Rangers beat Rita and Zed while learning good life lessons along the way. Of service to you. Although the series established a more phenomenal formula, the best parts of the inaugural run are when it broke from its established pattern. The daring and five-part Green Ranger saga introduced a now legendary Tommy Oliver. And now, morph into the Green Ranger! To the fall of Zordon and the destruction of the Power Rangers! While other series would go on to take bigger narrative risks than Mighty Morphin did, it will always be applauded for kicking off the franchise. Number 4. Time Force When a mutated villain takes down the Red Ranger and escapes a thousand years into the past, a group of futuristic officers chase him to the year 2001. In the process, 
they run into the identical looking ancestor of their recently deceased leader. Wow! It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> he looks just like Alex. <laughs> Who's Alex? Nobody. Thank you for helping me, but I'm fine now. This time bending premise set one of the greatest season long stories in a Power Ranger history into motion. Seeing the futuristic members of the team adjust to the era and each other is fascinating. As they learn about each other, they star in stories that explore complex themes around prejudice, destiny, and love. I wish you could stay. Me too. But we both know I can't. I want you to have this, Wes. Speaking of romance, the central relationship between the Red and Pink Rangers is fulfilling and has a genuinely affecting conclusion at the end of this fantastic and still timely season. Number 3. Dino Thunder Dino Thunder felt like a Tyrannosaurus-sized love letter to Ranger history. Not only did the show go with the dinosaur theme, but it brought back THE Tommy Oliver as a main character. Your gems are from the asteroid that crashed into Earth millions of years ago, wiping out the entire dinosaur population. When I found them, I recognized their power and hid them so they wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. He returned just in time to lead the rookie teenage team in a fight against one of the most imposing series villains, Mezagog. Traitor. You'll regret double crossing me. The series also had multiple fantastic storylines where antagonists struggled to overcome their dark instincts and fight on the side of good. Outside of the incredible and deep plot, the series gave fans amazing fan service that organically tied in the plot. By the time Dino Thunder featured the 500th episode of the series, it was clear that the franchise still had a lot to bring to the table. Once I access the power in this rock, my dream of returning the planet to its prehistoric roots will be a mere formality. Why can't you just want to rule the Earth like all the other sickos? Number 2. RPM If you ever wondered what would happen if Power Rangers was set in Mad Max's world, RPM has got you covered. Colorful zords and bright spandex, uh, sorry, not spandex suits, stand out against the bleak backdrop of a world ravaged by a villainous virus that nearly wiped out humanity. If you can hear my voice, please go now to the Dome City of Korra. It's the only place we can be safe. The mature storyline let the show get darker than it ever had before. However, it still feels suitable for all audiences. The harrowing conflicts are always complemented by interesting character work and clever meta jokes. Could you please tell me, where do you get your spandex? That is not spandex! The material is a self assembly now! And every single ranger gets so much development that they feel like completely different people by the end. The way this darker series excels, while never losing sight of the heart that makes a Power Rangers series truly great, is incredible. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. In Space since In Space was once meant to be the final outing for the Rangers, the writers went all in to create the greatest season they could. Ready! Let's rock it! Yeah! The story starts when a defeated team of Rangers finds a new ally and powers in space. Together, this new team must stop villains like Dark Spectre and Astronema from ending Zordon and conquering everything. In Space has almost too many iconic moments to count. The Psycho Rangers make their grand debut, Astronema gets an incredible redemption arc, and civilians fight alongside Power Rangers. These historic moments lead up to Zordon's sacrificial death. It is your duty as a Power Ranger to save the universe. 
Now is the time. Fortunately, the franchise continued long past this supposed final season, but if the series had ended with In Space, it would have been a perfect conclusion. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.